What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, this is an exciting one. Uh, build excitement towards Final Fantasy 7 R as you play Final Fantasy EC. Uh, Nomura said that. They're not kidding, man. Listen, this is a countdown trailer that they've released. And I am absolutely floored <clears throat> at what they show. So I'm very, very excited to share this with you guys. Um, with the countdown to launch trailer, we've started to the countdown, the worldwide launch of FF7EC. The game has evolved since the closed beta as we've addressed much of the issues. I hope you continue to build excitement towards FF7R as you play FF7EC. Okay, let's watch this trailer together and break it down. Now, keeping in mind that I'm going to most likely reduce the volume for copyright purposes, I apologize. You guys can watch the trailer. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, and let's, let's break it down. We'll go through the whole thing first, then we'll go back and look at the parts together, okay? Different costumes. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying to hold back my excitement here to talk, but it for battle. That looks so slick. All right, guys, time for the breakdown. So first off, a lot of things happened in this trailer. Um, we're going to go through all of it. I want to talk about it because I've got a lot of theories and I need to get those out of my brain uh, and hear what you guys have to say about them. Okay, so let's, let's start from the beginning here. First off, we know that this is an unknown militia. Uh, definitely not Shinra. At least it doesn't look like Shinra because these are the Shinra soldiers here. We know this is Glenn. Matt and Lucia. So this is ironic. This is this is crazy. And let me tell you guys why. If you know anything about Sephiroth, you know he's the one-winged angel with black wings. And his iconic feather is always black when he joins Genova and becomes that Sephiroth that we all know and love or hate, right? This Sephiroth has not been tainted by Genova yet and knows nothing of that entity at all wings are white now this could, this obviously doesn't symbolize his wings because he doesn't have those yet this symbolizes literally the birds right here the doves I'm imagining that are flying above but it's still symbolic of Sephiroth right because you can see here as he comes down slowly and gently and lands the question becomes how does he do that how does he land so softly another thing to note here materia Three materia inside of his sword. Now, if you guys know the Masamune that he uses, that's pretty much the length of his full body, or bigger, 
actually doesn't have materia that I recall at all on that sword. I think he, he's, he's got so much of the Mako energy materia built inside of him, he knows how to master it all. He doesn't even require this. And this sword is actually not the sword that we're all accustomed to seeing. Look at the size of this one versus what we're used to seeing, which is almost, I'd say, three times the length, right? This is definitely Sephiroth. Don't get me wrong. And this is what kills me. We still don't know Sephiroth. They're absolutely right. We don't really know much about the, the prequel of Sephiroth. We know Crisis Core uh, storyline. We know Final Fantasy VII storyline. We know Final Fantasy Advent Children. We know Final Fantasy Remake, plus a couple other stories here and there that he's been thrown into, like Kingdom Hearts when he was part of that. Uh, Final Fantasy, I think there's uh, Decidious, obviously he was thrown into that. Decidia, he was thrown into that. He's got a couple of the games that he's featured in, but nothing really talks about his past. And this is the first time we're really getting a look and the glimpse of who is Sephiroth. Now, my I have a theory that the Sephiroth we see in Final Fantasy VII is not even the real Sephiroth. I think he's also been cloned uh, after this. This is my theory, okay, guys? Not a spoiler. I feel like he died and and they cloned him with Genova cells. And then, because he is, he is the greatest soldier they've ever had. So... This might be the real Sephiroth that we come to know and realize that he, the, the one we're all accustomed to is just a clone of the real one. Who knows, right? This is just me theorizing. I have no idea this is true. I'm just using my head here in terms of what I know. Um, let me know what you guys think of that theory. Right here, do you guys know this already? Right, this is in the, in the, the Mako Reactor at Niflheim when Cloud, in his head, thinks he's confronting um, Sephiroth as Cloud when we really know it's actually Zack, right? The couple battle scenes here look pretty insane. Um, a couple things to note here. Uh, Aerith is wearing a different costume. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Completely different costume than what we're accustomed to. That's an amazing part of the game. Everybody knows what that is. Where Cloud dresses up. All the girls dress up. Um, Fenrir here. Well, not Fenrir, but this is the classic uh, motorcycle chase. Getting out of Midgar. This is actually when they finish it and they're actually at the end of it. Um... If you played the remake, you know this ends differently than how Final Fantasy VII ends. So I'm curious to see what they actually end up doing here. And this is, of course, leaving Midgar here after... Now, again, this whole thing looks different in remake versus the original. So, depending where you're coming from, you may see two different versions of this. Uh, for me, personally, I grew up with Final Fantasy, so Final Fantasy VII was my first PlayStation game that I loved. Uh, so I remember both scenes either way. But uh, look at that. And look, Tifa's got a different outfit as well. This outfit looks incredible. She actually looks kind of like uh, Reno Renoa. Renoa, I think that was her name from Final Fantasy VIII. But just not blue. She's just white. But it looks like a sick outfit too. Yeah, we know these brothers from uh, Crisis Core. Zack takes them on here as well too. Ifrit. So pretty big battle here with Ifrit, obviously. And you can actually see he's the classic Ifrit. Now this outfit was really, really cool looking. It looks like a, like a cyborg, like cyborg Zack or something. Definitely a Zack. You guys can see here the whole outfit. But he looks like um, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. Or uh, or Fox. Looks crazy good. So they're showing a lot of Zack here. Now going back to the first soldier storyline with Lucia, Sephiroth, Matt, and, uh, and Glenn. Obviously you can see here you are using them in this battle. So somebody mentioned... In a, that, that, that looks so sick. So somebody mentioned in a comment that uh, we may be able to play Sephiroth, but I think they also said it might be like Final Fantasy VII where you got to play with him with, for a stint of time and it wasn't truly the character himself. Like, you get to play with an invincible version of him. It might be the same thing. This this scene's kind of cool. I like this. It'd be kind of cool if it was Leviathan instead. And look, like, he, look at him. He legit looks like he's worried. Like, you don't really get much emotion from Sephiroth, like the Sephiroth we know, because he's so cunning, so cocky, so manipulative... And he's just the most, he like, he oozes confidence. This Sephiroth looks actually worried. Now we know this is a younger Sephiroth clearly, so he's not as war torn. He's not as war, he's not a veteran right now. He's not the hero that, maybe he's not the hero that we all know, we all know him to be. This might be just a green Sephiroth, uh, not because of the eyes or anything, but because of obviously the fact that he maybe hasn't seen as many battles as he has later in the future. So this was interesting. Whose lives are important to you? Now, I don't know who this character is, but clearly he has an impact on Sephiroth. So that trailer alone, now let us begin a new journey, and he says cloud at the end. So it looks like we're going back. And you can just even see 
or here when you listen watch this trailer the difference between the Sephiroth that was worried that was the young Sephiroth versus this Sephiroth's voice which is completely again manipulative cocky and and cunning right so all this trailer did number one is get me more excited and number two have more questions than answers like it's crazy how much i am looking forward to this game all right guys this is pain i hope you enjoyed the video go check out the trailer i'll put the link in the description below man oh man this game cannot come out fast enough i cannot wait to start playing this with you guys all right i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care